For some installation or troubleshooting steps, you may be asked to enter the thermostat settings or installer menu. It is important to only change the settings as directed. Incorrectly configuring the thermostat can result in poor performance or damage to your HVAC systems. Always record your thermostat's configuration settings prior to making any changes. When in doubt, contact a local professional or Residio customer care. This thermostat is equipped with the Smart Response feature. This allows it to learn how long your system takes to reach its set point and adjust the time the system starts running accordingly. This means your home will be at the desired temperature at the desired time. Assuming a scheduled setting of 70 degrees at 7 a.m., a home that has a thermostat with Smart Response option will be 70 degrees at 7 a.m. A home with the same scheduled setting but without Smart Response will start to warm up or cool down at 7 a.m. and may not reach 70 degrees for some time. To disable this feature, go to customer.residio.com, enter the model number RTH7600D into the search bar, and locate the installer manual. If the unit is heating when set to cooling, or vice versa, the thermostat may be incorrectly configured or wired. First, verify the thermostat is wired correctly. To operate a heat pump properly, this thermostat requires wires in the O B, Y, and G terminals. If the wires are correctly installed, go to customer.residio.com, enter the model number RTH7600D into the search bar, and locate the installer manual. Verify that the system type configuration on your thermostat is set to heat pump. If the system type is correct, change the heat pump changeover valve setting. If these steps are unsuccessful, please contact a local HVAC professional or Residio customer care. The thermostat may be displaying a wait message. This message indicates the compressor protection feature is active. To keep from damaging your HVAC system, this feature prevents rapid on-off signals to the compressor that could cause damage. Allow three to five minutes for the wait message to disappear. Normal operation should then begin. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching. For more support and documentation, please visit HoneywellHome.com.